talk about like power dynamics and status and stuff. Like we all, you know, all the actors in the movie, we're all in our like early to mid twenties, and so we grew up. James Franco was the guy. Like when I was in high school, and you're watching movies, you know, I remember the first thing I think I saw him in City by the Sea, and then I saw the James Dean uh, made for TV movie that he did, and his career just started kind of. He was he had a career that we all want to have. Um, so he plays this, this frat brother who was in the fraternity like 10, 15 years ago, but still comes to the frat parties. And um, he's this guy we all look up to. He's like a legend within the frat. And it was like, it's James Franco, and it's a bunch of young actors. Like, obviously, we all idolize him. Obviously, we all, you know. So that was a really easy, dy the dynamic was just real there. Um, when he, he walked of, into like, the room, there was this like electricity. Sense of you like, felt all the kids being like, yeah. oh, you know, and that's the way it was, was supposed to be in the exactly. script. And it, he, he improvised like 90% <laughs> of that. The dialogue was on book. Everything else was like, yeah. I don't want to give too much away, but. It's an amazing scene. It's like yeah. a really fantastic James Franco uh, yeah. moment. Yeah. So he essentially just like, did you guys meet him before you'd even started shooting? Or did you sort of set no. up a dynamic where it was like, You'll go here, James will walk in, and all you guys were like, for a week, we're like, oh my god, this is the day. It's funny because I remember you mentioning you were going to try and get Franco to play Mitch. Yeah. And then I looked at, well, like, I went to the production office. In the production office, they have, like, everybody's pictures up on the wall, like, who's playing who, like, what, the, what your number is on the call sheet. And I saw that you still hadn't cast Mitch yet, but I saw that he was number four on the call sheet, and he's got one scene in the movie. And I was like... I'm pretty sure James Franco is going to be Mitch. Yeah, yeah. Um, but, uh, yeah, no, we didn't meet until that day, I think. And, and he's, a, just... he's a producer on the film. Yes, the film, he is. The film had been in development for a little while. like 12 we, years. 12, 12 years. Yeah, Christine Vashon bought the rights to the book 12 years ago. And then, actually, uh, Franco came on, I think, just several years after that. So they've, together, they've had the material for you know, a long time, and it went through a lot of iterations with different directors, and it never came together, and so I was lucky it, it came together then. And, um, you know, just one note on that scene, you know, the, um, the physical contact, the, uh, that was not planned, <laughs> and uh, I just remember sitting on the monitor, and I'm right outside on the stairwell by myself with my little monitor, and uh, whack, you know, he just hits him, and I'm like, oh. James is hitting, is hitting, yeah, ben. hitting yeah. ben. James yeah. is hitting Ben. And I, whoa, like I, you know, and I saw your face be like, you know, and I was. You like, handle that in that situation. Do you just sort of let it? Oh, go? I said, just go for it. <laughs> <laughs>